Hey everyone, I'm out here in the garage. What we're going to be doing today is putting wheels on the Seville Classics workbench. So stay tuned. So if you're new to the channel, I just want to welcome you here and hopefully you'll consider subscribing if you like what you see. Also, check out DIY Apprentice on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I post lots of pictures and videos on those platforms before I post anything on YouTube. And occasionally I'll post things on those platforms I don't post on YouTube. Also, check out the website at DIYApprentice.com. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. So this is the Seville Classics workbench that's sold at a lot of the Walmart and Sam's Club stores. I picked this up several years ago and surprisingly it has been a very sturdy table. It actually supports a lot of weight. I put a lot of stuff on top of this table and as you can tell it's gotten pretty scratched up. That was one thing about the top that I was worried about is getting scratched up and that tends to happen with a workbench that can't be avoided but you know it's got a really nice top on it and that's something I'll probably have to finish later. Now the one thing I didn't like about this table when I bought it is that it doesn't have wheels and so it's always tucked in a corner in my garage and it never moves and taking it out of that corner to clean behind it or if I want to use it in other parts of the garage it's always a chore to do that. So I looked around to see if I could find some wheels for this table and fortunately I was able to come across a set of wheels that I could put on the table and be able to wheel it around the garage. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I'm doing here is confirming the table height with the standard feet installed, which comes out to 38 inches. Now I'm about five feet nine and my forearms are several inches above the table when my arms are bent at a 90 degree angle. I still would like to be able to reach down to the work surface after the wheels are installed. So I figured I had about two inches max with which to play. Okay, I'm not sure how that got in here. Continuing on, to find the correct wheels, I'd measure the stem's diameter of one of the feet with digital calipers, which came out to around 14 millimeters. I also needed to know the thread pitch, which is basically the distance between the threads and is commonly measured in millimeters. The thread pitch here is 2. After a lot of searching, I originally bought some 5 inch wheels, but they put the table height at about 42 inches, which is too tall. Finding 3 inch wheels to end up at around 40 inches was very difficult as most wheels that size have much smaller diameter stems. After a lot more searching I found some wheels by Crown on RestaurantSupply.com that fit the bill. The part number is 28-164S. They're listed as M14 with no thread pitch in the description and I later found that 2 is a standard thread pitch for M14 or 14mm bolts. I was completely unaware of this set of Seville Classics Ultra HD wheels that became available at some point in my search. The model number is WEB270. It includes two locking wheels instead of four, but it's about one half the current price of the Crown wheels. I'm unsure of the Seville Classics wheels quality, but the Crown wheels are very nice and the lock seems to work very well. These particular wheels support up to 220 pounds each, which is pretty good. But the catch here is that they only come in sets of four. They can't actually be purchased individually. Honestly, I think four is fine if you're not putting anything really heavy on the table. And you can always reinstall the feet if you have a special need. Installation is pretty simple. Just unscrew the old feet and install the new wheels. Alright, the new height checks out at about 40 inches, which is good. And it feels pretty comfortable, so we're done. All right, so there you have it. There's putting wheels on the Seville Classics workbench. So hopefully this information was helpful, and thanks for watching.